Well, place is really important to yeah. me, and I think that's true, um, you know, for a lot of writers, but it's true for almost every Southern writer I yeah. ever knew. And, um, you know, one of the settings in the novel is Fresno, California. Yeah. And I lived in Fresno for 21 years and never wrote about it until I left it. I also never wrote about Mississippi until I left it. Why is that? Well, you know the cliche, um, absence makes the heart grow fonder. Mm -hmm. I don't know that it made um, my heart grow fonder right. of any place that I've ever left, but it did allow for a certain perspective. Yeah. You know, you were speaking earlier to an artist that we both admire, Glenn Ray Tudor. Right. Mm -hmm. um, there's a thing, you know, that happens when you're viewing, say, an Impressionist painting. There's an optimum distance from which to look at right. it. If you're right in front of it, it's brush strokes. If you're too far away, it turns into blobs. But there's that, that place that you're at where you begin to see it clearly. Um, I never thought much about being from Mississippi, what that meant. It was just my reality. But when I moved to California, virtually every day of my life, as soon as I opened my mouth, somebody would say, where are you from? And if somebody asks you every day, where are you from, you begin to ask yourself, where, where am I from? What's unusual about it? And so um, viewing things from afar that I had, in many instances, experienced up close mm -hmm. as a child um, gave me a perspective mm -hmm. on the place that I didn't have before. And that's been true for me whenever I've left a place.